Good day everyone. My name is Rachel. You welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to teach you how to make short collar. A short collar is usually so with jacket or blazer. The tools I'm going to use are the marker, the measurement tape, ruler and the pattern paper. This is our basic body pattern paper which we have been taught and we've uploaded the video how to do the basic body pattern and I have done the major things that we have to do but the only manipulations that can enable us to produce a short color that is what we want to highlight today and if you look at it the distance between so this is the center front center front and this is our side front and the distance between here and here is just four inches and the distance at the upper part this is our top line the distance from here to here is five inches so those two distance for example the center front the four inches will take care of the button allowance and the lapel why the upper part will take care of the collar so the next thing we are going to do is the, we mark the distance at the neck the width is 2.5 while the depth is 4 inches though we are not really going to cut this part but just for the emphasis sake so whatever you have at the width neck this place whatever you have here which is 2.5 you will measure it at this place whatever you have at the neck you repeat the same thing at the upper here because this is where we used to construct the color but the color has to join with the lapel to form the short collar. So the next thing we are going to do, I've measured the distance here and I've repeated here. So I will connect the line together. I have connected this line together. So the next thing we are going to do, we have to determine our breaking uh, point. You know, like I said, this is our center front. From the waistline, you measure two inches upward. From the waistline, you measure two inches upward, which is going to serve as breaking point. It depends. You can decide to move up, like from the waist to like four inches upward. It depends on how you want your opening to start from. That is the breaking point. So I measure two inches from the waistline upward. Then from this point, I will connect it to this point. I connected this point to this point. That is the neck point. So having done that, then here at this point I will move inward like half inch I will move in from here to here and connect to this point because this is going to be our back neck this place is going to be our back neck but don't forget we are still dealing with the front 
the front part of the bodies but part of the back neck will be joined to the front so i move out by half i will connect it to this point and i am doing that to enable the back neck collar to sit very well and if you notice the shape of the back neck is like arc it's not straight like this that is why we are moving it so that by the time we sew it it will sit at the right position very well so i have connected so from here now you will decide how wide you want your collar to be you will decide how wide your collar to be so you can move in like four inches from this point you can move out like four inches or it depends on how wide you want your collar to be but for the purpose of this um project i will make use of four inches so from here i will connect to this point i will connect to this point from here to here four inches four inches so from this point now where my four inches end i will take it back to my breaking point so i've connected here to this place and don't forget this is the wideness of our color and from here i move it back to this place so the next thing I'm going to do now is we are going to determine how wide we want the button allowance to be. It depends on the size of the button you want to use. If you are making use of 1.5 wide button, you can measure 1.5 plus the half inch that you use to sew the lining so making two inches so from here downward that is going to serve as our button allowance and it will enable the front part overlap very well so from this point now we we'll connect part of this our uh, button allowance to the collar here you can understand the distance from here to here is our button and overlapping allowance the distance here because we are making use of the size of button which is one inch or one and a half inches so the distance here now we connected it to the collar which is going to serve as our lapel so at this point now we need to fine tune the shaping you fine tune the shaping so that this place will not be too sharp it won't be too sharp so part of the overlapping or the button allowance has joined with the collar so 
it will come this way so that is that about our uh, lapel and the color together so the next thing we are going to do is you come to the waist this is our waist that the this is the bust point and you consider the shoulder from here to here now is our shoulder from here to here is our neck so the shoulder slant you measure the distance between the shoulder slant which is four six eight this type of jacket now we are not going to sew in our shoulder pad but in case you want to insert shoulder pad then you need to add like minimum of half inch or like six eight to your shoulder so that it will be able to accommodate the shoulder pad but since we are now inserting shoulder pad later we are going to maintain the normal back shoulder which is seven and after removing our neck depth uh, our neck with we are left with the shoulder slant the shoulder so the distance between this point now we look for the midpoint and our midpoint is two three eight because the total shoulder is four six eight so two three eight from this point now you connect it to the boss point yes. that is at the waist that that is the waist that because from year to year now we are going to split it into two from here to this side we split it from the side front so basically that is how we are going to adjust the front bodies to form our short collar so the next thing we are going to do now is to show us how the back bodies will look like so here is our back bodies it has been also uh, drafted so the little manipulation we are going to do now is this is the center back this is the center side back and this is the top line and this is a shoulder slant so from here to here now we will still maintain the 2.5 that we apply at the front it's 2.5 from here to here 2.5 so what we are going to do is so at the neck depth we we'll move down by one inch so from this one inch we will connect it to the shoulder so I move down from here to here one inch then I connected it to this point so the only thing that we're also going to do at the waist is to connect this point to the midpoint of our shoulder slant so and what we have there also is force is it so half of force is it is going to give us two three eight so we are going to connect this place to our waist that and i have done that so the next thing is we are going to split so this line now is standing for our back that so i'm going to split it into two the center back separate and the center side back separate which i'm going to do now so this is my 
paper scissors i'm going to split part that I'm not going to use on my pattern and this is what I left with but before I do the splitting I want to call our attention to the side back if you look at this edge it's too sharp so I will move up like one inch at the side back then I will connect it A little to the down part at the waist so that this place will not be too sharp so then we're going to split the pattern that is our jacket so this is our center back and this is our side I've eliminated the dart. I've eliminated the dart. So I will do likewise to the front part. So here is our front part. So I will remove all the unwanted part at the front. We split the front part into two pieces. Part will look like so here is going to be our lapel and collar together to form a short collar so here is it and the way I did to the back I will move up at the side front like one inch then I will connect it to the mid way at the front so that the edge here will not be too sharp then I will cut the unwanted place off and cut it off so that it won't be too sharp then we have to split split the front part into two and eliminate our waist to enable us to shape the jacket very well. So here is the front part and here is the back. So brown paper is our back white front is our front part of the jacket so what we are going to do now is on our fabric on our fabric we are going to insert sewing allowance half 
to the midway of the splitted uh, place at the waistline of our jacket. So you had half inch from up to the from the down part at the hip to the shoulder. Likewise, this side. Then you have half that you will use to sew with the lining at the down part. The 2.5 inches we added to the basic body measurement will take care of every other uh, excesses that we need to make provision for. So, but this part, you will use the main fabric to cut the two. Because at the end of the day, the inner one, which should serve as our lining, should be the main fabric because it will still turn out this way. It will turn out this way. So the main fabric needs to show at this part. If you notice that this place is the inner, but well, you still need to turn it out like this. So it is the main fabric that needs to show here, except otherwise you want to use like different fabric to create another a different look for your jacket but here is not going to be the main line you will use the same fabric that you are using for the main body at the front part meanwhile the upper part is going to be the main fabric and the inner of this one will be your facing or your line that you will use and likewise the back side too you are going to use your lining for the inner and the main fabric as the upper part so that is all then what i use this pattern to sew i will show you then you will see how it looks so here is the look of a short collar this is the result of our pattern and don't forget that when we were doing our cutting, I told you that this part is going to serve as our back neck. As you can see now, if you place it, this place will turn to the back like this. It will turn to the back like this. Then you know we're going to use this to cut to one will be for this part like this it will be for this part and this one will go to the back it will go to the back then the whole thing will not look like this it will look like this this is our shoulder this is going to be the back neck and this is the color where we're going to join the two together to form this part this part will seem to form it then when you turn it when you fold it down like this to not look like this it will not look like this it's beautiful it's nice you try it and please if you find this video helpful don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching